let's take a look at this I'll cross the data plan the seeds have thorns on them that uh, look similar to the velcro straps you can uh, touch them without uh, injuring yourself and uh, each plant has uh, quite a few of these uh, seeds It's uh, quite an innovative idea to spread these seeds. They stick to any animal that uh, passes by and that helps spread the seed all over. These seeds are especially sticky to any animals that have fur. Very innovative idea. and uh, really interesting to see they are uh, quite safe to touch but really sticky because of the shape the thorns are and uh, if anyone uh, play darts with them they are quite sticky to the clothes too quite nice check it out let's take a look at this three roses tea comes in this really nice packaging these are uh, easy to boil uh, tea buds from a uh, brook bond you have to boil the tea buds in order for them to make tea you pour it directly into a cup without a strainer and your uh, cup of tea is ready the benefit of using this is that uh, you don't have to use a strainer it's much cleaner way to make tea it's manufactured in uh, Bangalore, India it uh, costs around uh, 55 rupees or around uh, 85 cents that's how the easy tea buds look This is how it looks when you make some. Again, a really tasty tea. Nice and strong. And uh, much easier to clean it. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this game shooting. That's how the gun looks. It can be used with the uh, two different types of bullets balls and uh, these are uh, foam ones you also get uh, two sitting ducks with it so that uh, you can uh, aim at them we are uh, giving them sitting ducks to aim there is even a target in the cardboard instructions on uh, how to use it costs around uh, 92 rupees or around uh, 2 dollars for this that's how the gun looks that's how you load it and uh, you load the balls here foam bullet goes on the bottom these are the sitting ducks This is how it shoots.
it's not that powerful but uh, really fun to play with quite nice check it out let's take a look at this manier's kakara these are uh, wheat crisps costs around uh, 15 rupees or around uh, 25 cents or so it's a vegetarian product that's how it looks very few ingredients whole wheat flour iodized salt vegetable oil onion powder mashed potato spices and uh, sugar it's manufactured in uh, gujarat india That's how it looks. You get uh, six of these in a pack. So let's taste it. This is much more uh, crunchier than the regular ones. And you can definitely taste the spicy potato in a very interesting snack. This is the chocolate flavored one this should be interesting that's how it looks it's much more uh, darker this is a sweet crisp it's really tasty and uh, it's not uh, too sweet this is the pizza flavored one that's how it looks let's taste it this definitely tastes like a pizza very tasty looks like it has all the pizza ingredients tomato paste, cheddar cheese, onion powder, oregano flakes, garlic powder and uh, spices. Really surprised uh, how much this tastes like a pizza. First place goes to this one. Second place goes to the chocolate one. And the third place goes to the sweet crispy spicy potato. Really interesting snack. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these magic bites. These are from uh, Marino. This is the strawberry one. This is the vanilla one. Pretty simple and uh, nice packaging. Magic in every bite. Costs around uh, 5 rupees or around uh, 10 cents or so. It's manufactured by Marino Foods in uh, Hyderabad, India. That's the ingredient list. That's the nutritional info. Let's taste it. It's quite a soft cake and uh, feels like it has a uh, moisture in it. The cream uh, smells really good in a very tasty cake. And that's the vanilla one. You can see they put in a uh, vanilla cream inside. Again, uh, quite a clever idea to make the same cake but uh, put in different creams to make different flavor cake. Quite nice. Check it out. While I'm bringing it home, it got a bit crushed. That's why it looks a little bit flat. Let's take a look at this puzzle ball. It's made out of a couple of pieces of uh, plastic. 
it even has a slit for a coin so you can uh, actually use this as a coin bank this costs around uh, 70 rupees or around a dollar or so This is how it looks once you make it. It is quite sturdy. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this eyebrow trimmer. It comes in this sleek packaging. Nice color too. That's the trimmer. And now uh, it works with the uh, one uh, AAA battery. It does work really well. It also comes with a cleaning brush so that you can uh, clean it. And this attachment then goes in like this. If you want to use this side, if you want to use this side, really well made uh, eyebrow trimmer. Costs around a uh, 120 rupees or around uh, two dollars or so quite nice check it out let's take a look at this oh your fun card game you get uh, two sets of cards and uh, it can be played by two to ten players and it's suitable for uh, all ages it's packed by Drew Arts manufactured in uh, Mumbai you get uh, two sets of uh, 52 cards costs around uh, 130 rupees or around uh, two dollars or so you get an uh, instruction sheet these are all the cards you get Only this part matters. Rest of the details are for uh, action cards, and this is for uh, ending the game. Again, uh, first person to get uh, 500 points wins the game, and this is how you score the cards. This is how the cards look. And these are the action cards. You can tell uh, what they are from uh, what's on the card. You get to skip a turn. You can draw two. You can uh, reverse the order of play. You get a different color. Once you shuffle the deck, seven cards are uh, given to each player. And uh, the rest of the cards go into a pile like this, facing like this. Once you distribute this, there won't be enough cards. That's why you get an extra deck so that you can put them like this. Now players uh, take turn playing it. The aim of the game is to get rid of your cards. And uh, 
if you shuffled it well you would get a couple of foil cards too you gonna to play it you either uh, match the color or the rank of the cards if they match you can uh, take these and uh, put them aside and uh, we move on and the next person plays if uh, none of the cards match you have to take one card from the pile and uh, you can either play that card or uh, you end your game and uh, the next person plays when you have the last card before playing it you have to shout oyo or uh, if the other people uh, point out that uh, you missed shouting it you have to take uh, two cards and uh, keep playing but uh, only for the players notice pretty simple game looks interesting that's for your card game for you Vienna uh, if I missed anything you can uh, pause the video where the instructions were and uh, play it correctly this is what I understood quite nice check it out let's take a look at this biscotto assorted uh, delicious biscuits it comes in a plastic box like this net weight of uh, 500 grams or a uh, half a kg yeah. these are some of the biscuits you get inside they look very interesting that's the ingredient list it comes in uh, three different languages this is made in uh, Indonesia it uh, costs around uh, 270 rupees or around uh, six dollars for this these are the five different packs we get you get about uh, 25 packs in total not all of them equal though you get more of these and uh, less of these so let's taste them you get uh, two of these in a pack so let's taste it This is so amazing the biscuit is quite crispy and it's also has a nice uh, lemony scent to it and the cream in the middle is uh, quite fragrant and uh, sweet which complements the biscuit really well you know really beautiful packaging that's how the biscuit looks it has uh, some herbs on top of it really nice and a uh, flavorful biscuit and the cream uh, does add to the flavor of it that's a wafer with uh, four layers and uh, chocolate cream really crunchy wafer and uh, quite soft and uh, sweet chocolate cream all of these biscuits uh, smell really amazing this is a oreo like cookie with a chocolate cream It's not uh, as sweet and uh, you get a lot more uh, biscuit than the cream so very interesting taste really thin uh, crisps like biscuit looks like you get about uh, 10 pieces that tastes similar to 
how a papad would taste but a little bit sweeter you know very tasty i think we got all the biscuits other than this one i'm not sure if uh, that's a special one that uh, you might uh, end up finding in one of these packs and this is how i would rate these this gets the first place and the second one would be this one the third one would be this one fourth and uh, fifth if you don't remember the packs would be the first one that would be the second one third fourth and fifth is the biscuits and a very fragrant too and uh, for the price you get nearly 25 packs of these so quite nice check it out let's take a look at this mask cube that's how it looks a puzzle uh, drive you crazy it uh, costs around uh, 49 rupees or around uh, 80 cents or so this is uh, manufactured by Ashok Industries in uh, Bombay that's how the cube looks you can see the steel ball you have to get it uh, out of this hole it looks really confusing and it's hard to see the path inside Once you get the steel ball out, you put it in uh, from here and uh, start over. This is a uh, one puzzle uh, that will drive you crazy. Quite nice. Check it out. 